friends before we start let me show you what we are going to learn today see here i have four images now when i hover each of them how they reacts this is what they are rotating and increasing their size when i hover them so this is all i have done it with css3 transform property so let's learn how to do it here i am already with my some basic css i have a div with the id of images and there are four images and i have applied margin 100 pixels to that div images and have a trans class on them which is width 200 pixel height 200 pixels and a box shadow of 5 pixel 5 pixel 3 pixel and a margin of 25 pixels so my each and every image inside div images will be affected by this css so the height and width of each and every image will be 200 pixels and each image will have shadow of 5 from x 5 from y and 3 from z i have applied a prefix webkit as it's a css3 property and there is a margin of 25 pixels let me preview up my page for you yes see here i have four images that contains margin of 25 pixels and the shadow is there which i have specified and height and width for these images is 200 pixels now let's proceed to transform property we are going to make a hover class for this dot trans hover so that when i will hover this images the transform property will react although you can specify transform property to div or box also but i found nice idea to applying transform effect on images especially i get the results when i hover them rather than applying directly on some div or images so now let's start our transform property transform say first i want to increase scale so yes scale now say i this scale of 2 and 4 as it's a css3 property so let me apply prefix before it so that to make it compatible with major browsers say webkit for safari and chrome let me just copy this and paste this property over here and the same for mozilla just copy and pasting the same again now let's save up our document let's reload the page see now when i hover size of my image increases to 2 by 4 as here i have specified 2 and 4 scale property works on x and y axis it increases or decreases the size of element depend on the parameter we are specifying 2 stands for x here 4 stands for y here say i have scale of 1.5 i'm changing only in the webkit as i'm using chrome as my browser so let's see what happens 
let me reload the page see now when i hover the size of image increases to 1.5 from both the axes x and y because i have specified only one axis now what if i want to scale it from one side only here how it is scale x then i will have scale x only let's save up let's reload our document size increases from x axis only to the 1.5 as i have specified similarly for y let me save up let me reload see now it increases only from y axis so, so this is how you can play with scale property imagine if there were social icons over here and you hover on them so they will increase their size which will look very pretty let's make it 1.5 from both the side and let me make this change to all the supporting browsers now we will proceed to rotate property inside transform let me remove this scale here i have rotate inside rotate we specify the degree how much we want to rotate our element say i want to rotate 30 degree now let me add a necessary prefix before it unless it won't work i am applying webkit for now only but it's a good practice to have all the necessary prefix for all the browser let me just copy and paste the transform rotate property let me save my page let me reload it see when i hover my image it rotates 30 degree say i specify 50 degree i'm just changing in webkit only let's reload see it rotates 50 degree now what if i want to have both the effect at a time scale and rotate on my images so let's have it here transform scale let the scale be 1.5 and let me have rotate now rotate 30 degree let me have prefix for chrome webkit let me just copy and paste it let's save up our document let's reload the page now when i hover image size also increased and it rotates 30 degree so this is you can also apply to thumbnails of your image gallery in your websites they will look really cool now let's proceed to skew let me remove scale and rotate let's make it skew now skew 30 degree and say 20 degree let me add prefix webkit
Let's save up our document. Let's reload it. See now when I hover them, the image gets cube. 30 is x axis, say horizontal and 20 is y axis, say vertical. X and Y, 30 and 20. Similarly, I can specify one axis also for skew, say X only 30 degree. I am changing, again I am changing only in WebKit. Let me save up my document. See now, skew transform is working only on x axis now. Let's make it y. Let's save up our document. Let's reload. See now it's y only. Now, let's proceed to translate. What translate does is it moves element from its current position from x and y axis. Say transform translate having it 10 pixels and 10 pixels. Now having the same by using prefix, just copy and paste the property. Let's save up our document. Let's reload. See now, the images are moving from its current position. Say 10 from X, 10 from Y. Or let's increase the size. Say I change it to 40 just to make it more visible. Let's refresh our page. See, now they runs 40 pixels from their original position from both the axes. Say I want to control only one axis. So, there I will have translate x. I will remove the second for y. Let me save up my document and let's reload. See, now the element is moving or the image is moving from x axis only. Or let's make it y. Now it will move from y only. Let's reload it. See, now it's moving from y only. So this is what translate property does. This is what we have learnt about transform property. So this is done friends. And if you want to learn these subjects directly from me, do contact me. Do subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.